Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading is a general reading to see what messages and guidance Spirit has for you at the time you view this video. Spirit, please connect to the Pisces viewers and subscribers of this channel and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher self in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they watch this video. Let's see what messages we get for you today, Pisces. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces at the time they watch this video? What messages do you have? Thank you. We start off with the Knight of Swords, a harsh truth, a harsh change, a very rapidly or fast moving energy. What other, mes what other messages do you have for Pisces, please? What other messages do you have for Pisces, please, Spirit? Thank you. And we have energy again. So this could be communication. This is definitely something that's coming in quick or moving quickly. Then we have the tower. So this is something shocking, sudden. But then after the tower, we have the sun. So this is going to be a very, it could be a truth coming to light. Like a truth, um, the sun coming to reveal a truth. Or something very good, a new opportunity as well. So we're having some very fast, very powerful energy come in. Then the tower seems to be, you know, catalyzing a change here into something that will, in fact, be happier and better and a new opportunity. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please? Any other messages for Pisces for this reading, please, Spirit? Anything else for Pisces for this reading? Thanks. I'm going to put, so they say take the seven of pentacles. Okay, so we do have the seven of pentacles here. So this is the, with the ace of pentacles and the seven of pentacles, this can be referring to an investment or something you have been waiting for for quite a while that's finally arriving. Let me dive in and see what information we can get for you about this message. Spirit, please come near and show Pisces what this knight of swords is. What is this knight of swords for? Thank you. We have the judgment. So this is communication as well. This is a sudden decision. A sudden awakening as well that we're seeing here with this knight of swords what else do we need to know about this knight of swords please anything else we need to know about this knight of swords please thank you and we have the sun again so this is definitely going to be a sudden unexpected decision or change that is being made that brings happiness as well we do have the judge card here with the sun so this is almost like a eureka moment for some of you like all of a sudden something might make sense or you have a truth that is revealed but we definitely see the judgment being that energy of both communication and of a decision also impacts of a past it refers to a past where something was dead and is being reborn as well and the sun has that energy of rebirth as well so there's definitely this sudden change. What is this Eight of Wands for Pisces? What is this Eight of Wands for Pisces? What is this Eight of Wands for Pisces, please, Spirit? Thank you. We have three for the Eight of Wands. So here, Pisces, we see the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. So this does seem as though it's going to impact your security and stability. It could be a message about a new offer. Somebody wants to come together and work with you um and build security stability together it could also be communication from somebody who wants to come together and be generous and work in a partnership and the ten of pentacles can be family or commitment or something having to do with finances as well so it seems that good news regarding your finances on the way here what is this tower card what do we need to know about this tower card please what is this tower card for pisces thank you and we're getting the Eight of Cups. So this is something that's going to enable you or force you to walk away from something. Um, let's get some more information about this. What, is, what else do we need to know about this tower, please? What do we need to know about this tower, please? Anything else for this tower for Pisces? Anything else for this tower for Pisces, please, Spirit? Thank you. And we're having the Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. So it could be a new opportunity that comes in. We're seeing definitely you've been working on something and it's going to be time to celebrate. Maybe you've been working on leaving something behind or working to build something. But we see suddenly being able to move on from 
being focused on this or this is going to free up the energy to enable you to move on and focus on something new, maybe a new partnership or celebrating some type of success. Actually, Spirit wants me to get clarification on these. Hold on one second. Spirit, please come near and clarify these cards for Pisces. What is this Eight of Cups? What is this Eight of Cups? Let me scooch these. Spirit, what do you want Pisces to know about this Eight of Cups? What is this Eight of Cups, please? For this Eight of Cups, Pisces, we are getting the King of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. So there, there definitely seems to be, this could involve an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or it's celebrating some type of success or joy. Some Something is coming that's enabling you to walk away. What is this Eight of Pentacles, please? What is this Eight of Pentacles for Pisces, please? And we're getting the Six of Pentacles again. So you've really been focused on this for a while, maybe focusing on balancing yourself out and that you're finally getting to the place where you're able to move forward as well. What is this Four of Wands for Pisces? What is this Four of Wands for Pisces? And we have the Two of Wands. So it's definitely a choice about what you want, choosing to move towards your happiness, your security, and your stability. And for some, it'll be suddenly moving forward towards a, some type of commitment. What is the Sun card for Pisces, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about the sun? What is the sun card for Pisces, please? Thank you. So we have the king of cups. So it's definitely going to bring be an opportunity that's coming to you. The king of cups being the Pisces energy, water energy. An opportunity or a truth is going to come to you that's going to be able to move you forward. The page of pentacles can represent having learned a lesson or going um like taking a course or something like that but it's also news and this is good news coming in the page of pentacles indicates that it's good financial news so it could be around a job opportunity some type of inflow of cash something very good and something very stable and tangible is on its way to you what is this ace of pentacles please spirit what do you want pisces to know about this ace of pentacles what is this ace of Thank you. <clears throat> Pardon me. So we have the strength card for this Ace of Pentacles. I'm hearing strong and wealth creation and Knight of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. So what we're seeing here is this opportunity is coming to you because you were strong and emotionally endured the hardship that you had gone through before. So now this new opportunity is coming to you because of the work that you have put in, the emotional, <clears throat> pardon me, the emotional mastery you have had over a multitude of situations I'm seeing here. <clears throat> and that you have been putting in the focused work to really overcome. And, you know, we're seeing here that this tower may have fallen in your life and destabilized you and you walked away and have been working on rebuilding your security and stability here. And we do see that you have clarity, you have truth, you have new opportunities that are coming to you because you have weathered the storm, you have remained emotionally stable or work to become more emotionally stable. So new opportunities are in fact coming. What is the Seven of Pentacles? So the Seven of Pentacles says it's going to be something very long term, something that you can really um, plant and grow with. What is the Seven of Pentacles, please? What is the Seven of Pentacles for Pisces, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about the Seven of Pentacles, please? Thank you. And we have the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is feminine air energy, independent of gender. It, it could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius person that you might be working with. <clears throat> Pardon me. Or it could be your own discernment using logic to properly plan, plop, properly invest your seeds, your energy, and your time. Spirit wants me to get one more card. One more card for the Seven of Pentacles, please, Spirit. Thank you. And we have the Ten of Wands. So it's definitely choosing to put down the burden, rethinking where you have previously invested and going forward, cutting the burden away. The Ten of Wands is a wand and the Queen is carrying one sword that she's going to slice through, independent of gender, slice through all that burden, plant new seeds and grow a new garden with this new opportunity. So we are at one card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces, please. One card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces. Thank you. And we have power, which is a strength card coming out for the second time in this reading. We see you're in your strength, you're in your courage, you're in, while you're also being compassionate, 
you're still you're you're handling your business you're getting stuff done and you're also reflecting over thank you spirit spirit just said that you you've also been having the you've been working to tear down towers, your own towers, like you've actually made towers in your life for some of you, because you understood that what you were doing or what you were working with or what you had was not working. So you tore that freaking tower down. It's like an old shed or old building in your backyard that you're like, you know, it's an eyesore. It doesn't need to be there. Somebody's going to get hurt from that old structure. So you're like, Frick it, I'm, I'm tearing it down, right? And now you're rebuilding. You made a decision to see the truth, to have clarity, to move forward in a more balanced, methodical way, using your skills and abilities to build wealth, build relationships, build something that you can literally build. Like the Ten of Pentacles is speaking about physical, material building, right? And reaching that end of the cycle where you're building something. But the thing is, you've also realized that the things in your life you know, some are good for you and some are bad for you. So we see you moving forward in new opportunities, in joy. We have the sun card twice in this reading, right? I think, yes, twice in this reading. So you have clarity, you have vision, you're moving forward and you're getting rewards and you're seeing the fruits of your labor because you have been, you've weathered the storm, you've had emotional endurance and you've come out of a place of lack and you ha have been in the process of building new structures for yourself because you weren't afraid to tear down the ones that didn't work. So now we see you coming to the end of the cycle, being in your power, needing to maintain that courage and strength and saying, you know, let me assess what I want to grow in my life. What areas do I want to invest in? What do I want to grow in? What do I want? What is the plan for my life? And really having something very concrete, stable and grounded that you're going forward with in this new beginning, but it's also in alignment with your truth. Spirit one angel answers for Pisces for this reading. And we have three coming out. So what we get here is look for a sign. So spirit is definitely trying to guide you and, and give you indicators of how to, you know, if you have a question, ask for a sign or just to know that you're on the right path and the right journey. Spirit is saying here that they are in fact giving you a sign and then improving health so we definitely see that you have been working to overcome this five of pentacles here which we do see a new beginning being born for you a new stability tearing down the faulty decrepit structures in your life and rising up to build new ones and we have recovery so this is exactly what this message is about pisces it's about having the sight the vision and the authority in your own life and we have in a number of pisces readings lately seen pisces coming into their own seat of power returning to their truth having clarity and truth in their life and it seems here that now you're moving forward pisces able to see the structures you want to build in your life but first understanding what has to go in order for you to build something new for yourself this is the message i have for you today pisces i hope it helps God bless.